just two people defeating a behemoth. That's incredible. The military uses brute force, but a little magic goes a long way. understand why I wanted to show you the Oracle Drive? I think I do. You've been looking for lightning too all this time. Yes. It's not much of a clue, but I thought you should see it all the same. And I wanted you to see how far we've come. I wonder what kind of person the Cirrus was. What does she have to do with lightning? We're still not in a position to say. All we know is that each successive generation of Cirrus went by the name Yule. Anything else is pure conjecture. What happened to her after the city was destroyed? She either shared the city's fate, or left for good. In any case, her end was not recorded. defeating a behemoth. Terry uses brute force, but a little magic. This must be the gate Hope was talking about. Maybe. Yeah? What? 
There's something on your mind. Yeah, well, um... Sure, but it's just personal stuff. It's the Moogle. He really bothers you, huh? Is it that obvious? I look at his strange little face and I can't help but worry. I mean, what now? This face isn't strange. It's totally cute. Totally cute? I'd go for unique. You shouldn't make fun of me, Kubo. Something had been bothering Noel, and it had been ever since we heard the story about the Padre Cirrus Yule. But, of course, he wasn't the only one who was troubled. Was it really lightning I saw in the flickering images of the prophecy? The only way to find out is to go through this portal and solve the paradox. Grand Pulse, a land that bears the scars of ancient war, where flakes of crystal gather and shift like sand in the desert. The Academy has restricted access to this place because it is the homeland of the two heroines who turned to crystal and held cocoon safe in the sky. It is a land that now, 200 years later, has been swallowed into a rift between time and space. future where everything has been destroyed? Or is it a distant past before the world has even come into being? Space time has doubled and twisted on itself. The past and future are tangled together as one, Kubo. Paradox is affecting space time itself. Right. And we have to find out what's causing this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoever it was that created the paradoxes, they really want an empty, dead world? In a world abandoned by the foul sea, the ones who were left behind craved nothingness. An empty world. Where did you hear that? <laughs> it's just an old fairy tale. within the paradox itself. In this space-time, the past and future intersect. I bet if we solve all these puzzles, we could dissolve the current paradox. Now you're thinking, Kubo!
Here! 